Hey everyone, so today we're going to be reviewing the Superior Fencing Basic Hemet Fencing Jacket. So you have to forgive me because I'm not actually going to put it on today. I trained in this for three hours last night and I'm still airing it out. That's the key to making your gear not smell by the way. Air it out and wash it frequently. None of this vodka and water spray down, just wash the damn jacket. Anyway, that's, that's a side point. So I'm going to be reviewing the Superior Fencing Basic Hema Jacket. It's called the SF Hema Jacket or something like that. And this one's in the 350 Newton rating. And I've had this jacket for a little bit over a year. And to sum up this review, I love it. It's great. So let's talk about the features of the jacket. You get a padded Hema jacket that's fit for steel sparring for 120 USD. At least that's how much I paid for it at the time when I bought it. And hopefully the price doesn't change. It's custom fitted, free of charge, and you also get to uh, modify it slightly if you want. So I put on these vents on the back for better heat exchange, and they did that free of charge as well. These patches cost like 750 each or something like that, which, you know, for a giant embroidery patch like that is really good. And it's great. So it's probably the cheapest HEMA jacket on the market besides the new one from Shortcut MFG Co, which hasn't, I haven't seen any decent reviews about it yet. And the price point's not that much different. It's 20 US dollars. And at the time when I bought this, then the other one didn't exist. So what do I like about it? I like that it's a nice padded jacket that's really safe to spar in. It has a blade catcher at the front, so the blades won't slide up and go underneath your mask. And also, it's, it just works really well at a really cheap price point. So Superior Fencing did this custom size for me for free. I gave them my measurements and they did it really well. Like It fits beautifully, it's, it's very mobile, there's no restrictions, I've got full range of motion and it just works really, really nicely. Plus you can do custom co colors, so I did a custom white collar. Not sure why I did that, because now you can sort of see all of the grime around here, but I did it and I thought it looked cool, and I still think it looks cool. Like I mentioned before, you can slightly modify it, so you can do embroidery patches, you can add on back vents, heat exchange. If you ask them to do a thermo back, they could probably do a thermo back as well for you. Um, you can do plenty of things. It's also got a really nice waist cinch at the back here, which just helps tie it in in the waist and make it so that it fits a little bit more snug, and um, I find that Without this waist cinch, then it'd probably just be too baggy and it probably would restrict the movement. So I really like this waist cinch here. The material that it's made out of has been pretty durable. So I've used this for shinai sparring. I've used it for wood sparring with solid wooden uh, sparring swords. I've used it for synthetic sparring, including the Black Fence Sharp Simulator Synthetics, which have these little hard lump cutouts, which can scrape and scratch against jackets. And I've also used it for steel sparring, and it's held up fantastically to all of that. There's no abrasions, there's no linting, there's nothing like that. The material that Superior Fencing makes their jackets out of is just really durable, really hard wearing, and it's really nice. So I quite like it. It's also held up its colour pretty well. There's been a little bit of fading, and I've washed this quite a fair few times because, like I said earlier, wash your jackets. It, it, makes, it, it makes it so that they don't smell and so that you're nice to train with at your training club. So I wash this and then I hang it up to dry and it dries within two or three days and I've done this quite, quite frequently and it works well. So what don't I like about it? Okay, so the first thing I didn't like about it when I first bought it was the break-in time. I wore this around the house, you know, just doing random tasks for about two months before I really felt like it was mobile and it had no restriction. My partner was, drive was driven insane by this. She thought that it was absolutely stupid but it was the only way that I could get it to quickly be able to break in and move so that I would have the full range of motion without feeling like I was you know, trapped inside some elastic bands restricting my every motion. The breaking time was the, on this was probably at about two months before it was fully mobile. But once when it was fully mobile, like I said, it, it's got no restrictions of movement, it feels fantastic to train in, and it works really well. The other thing I don't like is that the inner lining of it has stretched slightly. So the inner lining is this really nice moisture wicking fabric, but in the left arm, then it's stretched. So when I put the left arm in, I have to be careful, otherwise it catches and the inner lining slightly pokes out and I can't get my hand all the way out. So I've got to pull it back in, snake around that and then put it through. Very mild inconvenience. 
but something that I don't like. And the final thing that I don't like about it is that I don't think you can custom size the neck. And the neck isn't always something that grows in proportion with the rest of your body. And for me, then this is completely fine. Like it works fantastically. I can fit a gorget underneath. But if you had a particularly fat neck and probably not as fat of a body, then I think you might struggle with fitting in a gorget or having that neck space to make it comfortable. So if superior fencing could you know, get neck sizing, if that's a thing, um, so that people could custom request um, a, a looser neck fit or a tighter neck fit, depending on how wide their neck is, then it would probably, it'd probably be good. I mean, if you email them, you ask them, they can probably do it anyway. But um, it's just something that should be mentioned that, you know, I've, I've got a friend who's got a bigger neck and he thinks that the jacket's a little bit restrictive on the neck. Mild, mild inconvenience, he still wears a jacket, still wears a gorget underneath it, but it probably could be more comfortable if they had neck sizing. So are there better jackets on the market? Probably yes, especially in the terms of heat exchange, you know, more mobility with less of a breaking period, and you know, things that are, have hard plates and things like that. But are they 120 US dollars? Absolutely not. So for 120 US dollars, I really don't think you can go wrong with this jacket. It's a fantastic first jacket to buy, custom sizing, fits well, and you know, this has lasted me more than a year and I think I'll continue to use it. Does it leave you wanting for another jacket? Honestly, no. Like, I'm happy to just keep using this jacket because it works well. And at this price point, I don't think there's anything you can complain about. So it's a really good jacket for a really good price point and I highly recommend it. So I hope you, if you need a Hina jacket, then think of getting one of these. If you need um, to recommend one for a club member who's just starting out, this is my go-to jacket for recommendations. And uh, I hope you keep that in mind. And with that, I'll see you next time.